Hey guys, so I never really ended the vlog yesterday. This is the next day, so I thought I would just pick it up or end it. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but I don't feel like I have enough footage from yesterday, but I feel like we're just living deja vu again because yesterday it rained all day, except there were like little breaks that we were able to get outside and that's exactly what's happening today, a day later. So it rained all this morning, it rained all night, and then Right before nap time, it stopped raining. The sun's out a little bit, so we are out here. The boys are playing in my car. This is like the most fun to them. They like to push all the buttons, and then I get in the car, and then the wipers are going crazy, and they put my blinkers on, and Gray apparently likes to play with my sunglasses, so this is fun for them. Whatever makes them happy. One time, they were playing in my car, and I didn't realize it, and Gray had closed the door, but he hadn't closed it all the way. And so my car light stayed on, and my car actually ended up dying while it was in my garage. Sorry, Gray, Porter just pushed the garage opener. Um, anyway, the car died in the garage, and I had to take Gray to preschool. It was like 15 minutes before preschool started. So I had my mom come, I had to borrow her car. She ran over here. Thankfully, she only lives five minutes away. And then Anthony on his break from work had to like maneuver his car and angle it in our garage so that we could like hook up my car to his car and we were finally able to get it running but it was a hot mess and so now I'm always terrified that that's going to happen again so I try to watch that but other than that they have fun in my car anyway like I said it's like a deja vu not much going on today although I will tell you guys we are going to go look at another house so it's been a while since we've gone and looked at a house i feel like um and this strategy is going to be a little different for this house so this house came on the market and i feel like it's largely overpriced now in today's market what house isn't overpriced but this one i feel like it's very overpriced compared to others and so i'm curious to see if it's going to go down where it's priced right now, it's out of our budget. But if it comes down a little, then we might be able to afford it. So I texted my realtor yesterday. This is kind of a long explanation, so sorry about that. I texted my realtor yesterday and I said, hey, will you just watch this house? If it goes down, let me know and maybe we'll like go see it and be interested in it. And she was like, yep, I sure will. I was like, okay, great. Well, then a couple, maybe an hour or two later, she texted me again and she was like, hey, you know, actually it probably would be worth it to go and see it just in case. Um, so I don't know if she has a feeling that it's overpriced and maybe we have a, a option. Um, I don't know. So anyway, she thinks it's worth it. So I was like, sure, why not? So my parents are back in town from their vacation and they were like, hey, let's we'll watch the kids for you. Uh, you go look at this house. So it's Friday, Anthony's working. After he gets off of work, we're gonna go and look at this house. Um, something good might come of it, something, I mean, somebody might come in and just do at asking price or above, and then we'd be out of, you know, a uh, bid. But if it goes down in price, maybe we can afford it. So I'm hoping that kind of with the turn of the market and Maybe they'll just, maybe they priced it too high. So we'll see. We're gonna go check it out. This is a totally different strategy. We've never done something like this before, but lately the past couple weeks, it has seemed like there are houses on the market that come down in price a little bit because people are not willing to go as high as they used to a couple months ago. So we're gonna go and check it out. Also, my dad is gonna give the boys a haircut because they desperately need it. It's been a while. My dad gives the boys haircuts and it works out perfectly because it's free and they are comfortable with my dad and they actually do very well with my dad, even Porter, who's little. So we're gonna do that too. <laughs> so um, kind of a busy day towards the end of the day, but right now we're just trying to kill time and just hang out. What are you doing? Is that your scooter? Yeah. So I got this scooter for Grayson for his birthday and it was like $10 at Walmart and he doesn't like it. He gets very frustrated with it. Porter plays with it more than Gray does. Um, so the problem with this, and I don't know if this is a good scooter to have or not, but this scooter to turn it. Okay, sorry, Gray was turning on my alarm. Ugh. Um, anyway, like I was saying with the scooter, to turn it, you don't just like twist the handle, you actually have to like tilt the handle to turn it. Is that how most scooters are? Or should I get a different scooter? Like, let me know down below. Gray gets really frustrated because he doesn't understand how to turn it. 
and so he hasn't rode it a lot he just prefers riding his bike so i don't know if i should just spend a little more money and get a scooter that actually turns or if they should just learn off of this one i'm really not sure but they're the jury's still out on this scooter porter's trying to figure it out though huh support porter's new favorite thing is he just finds anything and he tries to walk down and up up and down the sidewalk with it you having fun? Port, stay here, Porter. He wants to go on a walk. Should we go on a walk? No. No? Porter's scooting by. He's scooting by? Yeah, he's trying to figure out the scooter, huh? There he goes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, this is actually Shannon from the future. I am going back and editing vlogs from months ago. Um, to give you perspective, it is the end of October now, and the vlog that I'm editing is May. Life got a little crazy. I'm not going to say much because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You're just going to have to watch the videos to come. But I'm finally back on my editing streak. Um, I, life got crazy and I had so much to catch up on and I have two kids and it's just been crazy around here. But please stay tuned because like the whole summer is just a whirlwind to me. So you're definitely going to want to watch it. As for this vlog, I really didn't end it, so I just wanted to tell you guys um, that house ended up being way overpriced, actually. They actually had to end up dropping it once, maybe twice. No one was offering on it. It was an awesome location, but the whole house had so much wood, wood trim. It just was so old and just old looking. Um, the size was good, the backyard was small, and we just ended up passing on it. So I just wanna let you know that was not the house. Um, but yes, please um, stay tuned. I'm gonna edit as much as I can in these next couple of days and get as many vlogs out as I can to try to catch up with real life because you guys are gonna wanna find out where we are now, what, May, and now we're in, um, well really almost into november so like five months later so yeah you're gonna want to stay tuned and find out what happens because it's a little crazy